Tonight's Tale of the Tape is sponsored by Sweet Girl, starring Jason Momoa and Isabella Merced, coming soon to Netflix. Derek Lewis is 36. Siddle gone out of France is 31, got the taller man by an inch. You see the weight discrepancy. Derek Lewis cuts down to the 266 pound limit. 265 for a title fight. Two inch reach advantage with the betting favorite, Siddle gone. Now to get you started for the main event, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Chairman Rick Figueroa, Executive Director Brian Francis, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Chris Lee, Sally Amato, and Douglas Crosby. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And brought to you by Universal Pictures, Candyman, on August 27th. I dare you to say it, Candyman, in theaters, August 27th. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time for round for the interim UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the number three ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Cyril Bogomolka! <laughs> and now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a brawler holding a professional record, 25 wins, seven losses, one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas! Presenting the number two ranked UFC heavyweight contender in the world, Derek the Black Beast Lou! All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules of locker room. Watch me and my commands at all time, watch big shows at all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck to both of you. Oh, man, live sports, UFC title fight, and the interim heavyweight championship is on the line here in Derek Lewis's backyard. Seattle gone trying to break through right, for you France. Ready, sir. You ready, sir? Let's go. And fight, this championship gentlemen. main event is upon us. Tonight's fight clock is sponsored by Sweet Girl, starring Jason Momoa and Isabella Merced, coming soon to Netflix. Seattle gone out of the Southpaw stands in blue. Derek Lewis, the Orthodox fighter, is in black. I mean, these are two big dudes. And the moment they start to come together, man, this place is going to explode. Nearly 17,000 strong being heard from early in this one. Oh, Lewis goes high, slips. Gone greets him with a right hand. Gone looks calm, very calm. Here already is a difference, right? Against Curtis Blades in the small octagon, Derek refused to go backwards and get pinned against the octagon because of the takedown. But with Gone, he's almost inviting him in to let him come close so he can try to let his punches go. Lewis giving a southpaw look here to Gon, kicks the body.
Gone more than willing to take his time, bide his time. Gone likes to throw that poke to the knee and then set his foot down and follow with his hands right after he lands that, that knee attack. Gets you kind of thinking about the leg and then he follows it. He's so fast, man. That is the issue that a lot of these guys are having problems with. He's such a great athlete, right, that he's in and out before they can return. These big, strong, hard-hitting heavyweights are having a difficult time catching up to him. Look at him poking at Derek Lewis right there, three, four different kicks, and then he just goes in and out before Derek can even load up his punch to go. He's very light on his feet. Like he's jumping rope everywhere he goes. Just fluent. And now you see Derek trying to go forward. And Derek's not to take some risk, right? He's not to take a few so that he can give one because ultimately for Derek Lewis, it's about getting one off. And then you might knock him out. Lewis has always been fairly measured though in round one in yep. his career. A lot of second round finishes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's smart by Gunn. The crowd might not like it, but very smart by Cyril, understanding that the danger was imminent there as Derek started to change level and load up that big right hand. And just stay, kick range, keep poking at him like that. Make the big man try to find you and chase you. And then just take your time if you're going. Just like he's doing, keep eating at him, poking his legs, poking his belly. Stay on the outside, because it's harder for Derek Lewis to get to that range where Gunn is at. Because Derek Lewis is not going to out output him. He's going to try to land the big ones. He won't try to keep up with the output of Cyril. But yeah. here's the problem, right? You can get Derek Lewis tired, and if Cyril's too patient, too calm, that power carries so far into the fight. Three minutes have gone by. Derek Lewis has yet to land a strike, has only thrown two. That body shot should get him a notch in that column. DC looking over to make sure those stingy statisticians gave him one. They did. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, guys. Love you. Took us 13 fights to get a growing shot tonight. Yeah, right? We've been good. We've been lucky. Right on the button. As many of you know, Seattle Gone will have five minutes to recover here. I know he's tall, but you either got to go lower or higher, right? I said, I know he's tall, but you got to either go lower or higher. You can't go straight into the like that, right, bud? You okay? Huh? Let's go. You ready? Ty, keep it ready. Fighters ready. Derek, you ready? Time and fight. Back underway, coming up on 90 seconds, round one. Look at how quickly he got that left leg up there, man. Yeah, he's fast. He's just double the speed. Derek needs to get close. Get into the clinch and just start to let those hands go. <laughs> it's just right funny hand. because it's like crazy. Like you just, you gotta dodge that. He ran away. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the exact defense he needed to employ. <laughs> Seen Derek struggle with those kicks up the middle before. Junior Dos Santos constantly poked him at the body. Yep. Another body kick lands for Gunn. Nice jab and a follow up right hand for Gunn behind the left ear of Lewis. Oh my goodness, that's a big old kick. Oh, oh beautiful oh, jab. Oh, God. Nice jab. Derek Lewis didn't like that one. They Brief both. dispute from Lewis. They said they both landed punches. They both poked each other in the eye with a punch. <laughs> that was a nasty jab by Cyril. It did not look like a punch from me, uh, jab, uh, eye poke from either one of them. And Derek. <laughs> Great punch by Cyril. A little bit of an eye poke by Derek Lewis, but that was a nasty jab by Cyril Gaunt. All right, so biggest thing is that we're backing up. We cannot back up with him. We've discussed this, and you know this, okay? So we're down one. 
We are lunging when we're punching, so we got to bring our feet with us. Stay outside the foot. Let's feign a little bit, level change, mess with his head. That right hand will land, but we got to stay outside that foot to do it. I got to have you pushing forward. Coach. When you need it, when you guys clinch, has a perfect flex up. Let's go to the table. 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 Il ne faut pas trop respecter son bras. Tu me montres le bras gauche, le, tu montres juste le bras droit et, euh, et on est bon. Tu te montres le bras gauche et on est bon, OK Respecte pas trop son bras. Donne-lui du boulot, donne-lui du boulot, fais le travail. Ça va mieux donner ou pas Let's go, guys. Ça passe les bras. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Il passe les bras. Non, c'est fou. That's all. Yeah, both of you. Watch your fingers, both of you. Watch your fingers, all right So that eye poke still affecting Seattle Gan, still trying to rub it out a All little right, bit. Second round, ready? Let's go, gentlemen. And Bob Perez with some pointed advice in the corner of his longtime pupil, Derek Lewis. They even want him to feint some level changes, Dom, as well. They want to feint level changes and forward pressure. And clearly, Derek Lewis wants to, but as you can see, Gan switching out. He can't just, he doesn't want to just move forward for a reason. There's something he's seeing from Gan that's throwing him off. And it's probably his speed, I would imagine. And power like that. That's Gon lightning. Him hard, man. It's not like Cyril's just touching him. He's blasting him. And guess what else, right? The last time Derek Lewis saw a heavyweight like this, right? A guy that was supposed to have knockout power. It was Francis. And his power is what deterred Francis from letting his hands go. Cyril Gaon is showing no hesitation in his approach. So that in itself may even cause Derek. He's not showing him that respect that Derek usually earns from his opponents. He's right in his face. And for Cyril Gaon, plan A seems to be working out. A minute gone by round two. Four rounds is a long time. Yeah. There's a lot of fight left. One thing that Gon is not doing to Lewis is putting a crazy pace, though. He's landing more, but the pace isn't super high to make Derek Lewis tired. I think Derek got him again whenever he's trying to extend his arms to evade. Might have poked him a little bit again. None of that's intentional. Yeah, it looked like a swipe. We got to look at it in our isolation monitor. But you're right, Cruz. It's not like he's putting a crazy high pace on Derek Lewis. Not so Derek all. will be able to do this for 25 minutes. Yep. So he's got a chance the whole fight if Gon fights him this way, but he's fighting smart. Gon is just fighting smart. And Gon and Derek will keep his power the whole time. Yep. If he's fighting at this pace. But at this range for Gon, the, the power is not as threatening. Because he's leading every single thing, right? He, every interaction is it, it's led by Cyril Gon. He's also not going for the same thing every time. Now there's a jump knee out of nowhere. He's been throwing leg kicks, he's been throwing jabs, so he mixes it up well yes. too. This is not, this is not where you want to be, especially if your back's against the fence, because Derek will start to let his hands go. Gon seems to have the strength advantage in these clinch yeah, situations. Right? Like, I mean, I, I think also more technical, right? Yep. He has a better understanding of these clinch positions. Now he lands that big knee right there, and look at him just swinging those knees. Open the hips, drive the knee down into the thigh. Underhook, control the far side wrist and head position. So by keeping the right side under hook, head on the opposite side, controlling the wrist on the far side, he is now controlling both sides of Derek Lewis's body. Under two minutes here to go in round two. No denying that Derek Lewis has felt the pressure all week. A lot of us have not seen him of that disposition, Daniel. Um, hard to quantify if that has been a factor to the slow start because Lewis has been measured early in fights. It's hard, right, John? Because I know how hard it was for me when I was fighting in Houston and I live three hours away, dealing with family, trying to come to the fight. Derek is dealing with that just in town. So maybe as the fight goes, he'll work his way into letting himself, letting himself go a little bit more. But as of right now, Cyril Gaon is way ahead to start this fight. Well, you've got nothing to lose when you're Cyril Gaon. Yeah, I mean, you do. You got a, a mark on your record, but you're undefeated and you're not in your hometown, and everybody expects you to lose because you're not the favorite. Well, so you're nine fights into your career, right? You're already nine, you're only nine fights in, right? You're fighting for the heavyweight champion of the world. This is a big, big situation for him, and 
very rarely do we have a guy that wins a title uh, when he's finally getting into 10 fights. I can't remember anybody different than Cain Velasquez when he beat Brock, might have had 10 fights. Ooh. Well, the big difference, DC, too, is the amateur. He's got the amateur record, he's got the Muay Thai record, so he's yeah. actually got 22 fights. He does not have 10, and that's what's different. These guys that are coming in with 10 pro fights actually half the time have 10 amateur fights, they're yeah. actually 20 and 0. Whereas the early days, it was your record was your record. There was no amateur league, so everybody's okay. better now. Yeah, he's good. Derek Lewis, two for 17 on his significant strike attempts. On the other side, Cyril Gan has landed 62% of his significant strikes, near 70% overall. Lewis going back to the well with that switch kick, unable to land. That footwork is what's throwing off everything because Derek Lewis needs to be able to set his feet to land, and Cyril's yep. not letting that happen. It's his athleticism. Footwork. It's that uh, the athleticism is killing him, man. They're All not recovery used to right that. now, Breeze. We're going into the third round. We're down two. All right. Water on your head. All right, so down two. Once again, I don't have a lot much different to say, except we got to keep cutting off. We got to push forward. Once again, when we're fighting a kicker like this, he's going to keep pushing forward, find his range, he's going to keep scoring, scoring, scoring. Look for him to, to start going to the head a little more this round, I think. Every time you're feigning, he's scared to death of you. Every time you're feigning, he's biting. But we're not capitalizing. We're staying too far out. Big penetrating step coming inside, Derek. Derek, you're in the best shape of your life. You cannot be put to face on this guy. You can't take any more rounds off. You we got to go, go, baby. Come on. We, need to go we can't play catch up. Let's go. All right, round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. So Derek Lewis, after round one, was unable to heed the advice of Bob Perez and Joe Murphy, whom they have called the missing piece, by the way, in terms of their grappling execution. But uh, we'll see, DC, if he's got anything here early round three. Well, they need him to press. They need him to stop backing up. They understand that Cyril's controlling all the range, all the exchanges. Everything they go through, it's on his terms. Derek's got to find a way to change that. Heavy leg kick lands for Gon. Derek hasn't checked one of those yet. Not one. <laughs> Turned his foot out on that one. Now the right hand lands. And I mean, Gon just keeps switching stances. It's a lot of looks. He just moves so well for a big guy. It really is a sight to behold. And this crowd just sort of waiting with bated breath just to have some moment to respond to for their guy, D. Lou. But they understand that it only takes one. It only takes one for Derek Lewis to blow the roof off this place. The smartest thing about that is that Gon's taking oh. out his lead leg. So what's the best way to take away a right hand? It's attack the right hand or attack the lead leg that you have to put your pressure on in order to land it. And that's what Gon's doing. See, each time he eats those leg kicks, taking a little bit of the, that sting off that right hand. Just a little. You see it, right? Bob Perez said every time you faint, he reacts. So throw a faint and let your right hand go. But Derek's got to cut off Cyril. He's got to take a step to the left. Right now, just take a step. He's following him, right? There's always an exit route for Cyril Gon. You got to follow him. A slight step off in the direction that he's going will help you. The crowd's just deflated to this point. They're ready to pop. They're all on the edge of their seat. But right now, Cyril Gunn is not giving them an opportunity to involve themselves and, he and help to carry Derek Lewis through this championship fight. He has effectively muted these masses with his footwork, his movement, his accuracy. 36 of 38 on the leg strikes. Lead him with an elbow there, just missed. Go ahead, King. Oh, he's in deep on that body rock. Couldn't quite get it. And just watching, you know, you see how well-rounded this guy is. I mean, yeah, those are, he's not uncomfortable in the clinch. He's putting his hands in the right spots when he's in the yeah. clinch. He knows how to escape and stay safe so you're not getting punched. He twists you at the right time. I mean, he's making the safe moves. He's fighting extremely smart in Gone, and it's keeping Derek Lewis on the outside where he can't do anything and just keep getting poked. It's just very difficult for Derek to get going because like you said, Dom, when he goes, 
Don will just hit him with that little side kick to the front of his knee to slow him down. And those leg kicks are crushing. And they're adding up now. He now there's one. Can't keep Gon beating those. Yeah, Gon's starting to get confident. Yeah, there's oh. an uppercut from Gon and now a left hand. And that leg is yeah. compromised. See what Gon on the cusp of the world title. He took that Huge shots from and Gon. The, and they went for the finish after the leg was taken out. Lewis went for a counter right. Not able to land. Dan Mogliata giving him a lot of chances to survive as Gon lands an uppercut. But this is where Lewis will try to set you up. There it is. Oh, big right hook. Oh, his legs beat the shit. Oh, oh big oh, knee from Siddle. Oh, Gon. Oh, Lewis oh, covers oh, up. That's oh, Lewis oh, over here. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Wow. Dan Mogliata interrupts the action to get Derek Lewis's mouthpiece. Oh, man. Too. That kick landed right on the chin. But that's when Derek tries to get you coming in. See that? Oh, he's under oh, a minute yeah, to go okay. in the round. Lewis it just looks like goes down. Here. Oh, that's it. It's over now. It's over. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. You gotta do something. Ah, and that is it. Friends oh, as a hey. UFC oh. champion, Sid oh. Gunn, hey. the interim UFC heavyweight champion, total domination on the road tonight. Big John, he's a problem, John. He's a problem for them all. This fight replay yeah. is brought to you by Nemiroff. Bold character since 1872 as they attend to Derek Lewis. Mm. Francis Ngannou would appear to have a real challenge oh, on John. his hands in the form of Bongama. John, and so he's a real problem for Francis. Woo. Because if he can fight like this, right? Hey, if he if he doesn't let Francis get rolling downhill by popping him at the knee, by keeping him at range, dude's a real problem for Francis Ngannou. Outside kick, right? Because he makes you fight at range. He just beats you down, making you fight a technical fight. Heavyweights want to brawl. Derek Lewis wants to brawl. He never got a chance. Cyril Gunn literally just outclassed him. Throws the jab and look at that uppercut. Left hook. Even going into the fire, whenever you know Derek's gonna start to throw back, Cyril Gan went in there and just dominated Derek Lewis. Dude, this was impressive. He, he's a real problem. The last time we saw a heavyweight with these kind of kickboxing skills was Rosenstrike. And guess who beat Rosenstrike? Cyril Gan. So here we are. This man is up there. He belongs here. He's proved it again. He took out. Derek Lewis, which is no easy task in his hometown. This man's ready for a title. That's all there is to it. What a performance from Cyril Gan. Thrill on one side, agony on the other. Of course, Derek Lewis just unable to get things going tonight. And certainly the referee, Dan Morgliata, gave him every benefit of every doubt to try to stay in this fight. But it seemed as though there was one leg kick that sort of took out the leg, and that was the beginning of the end for the Black Beast, Eric Lewis, whom you know will be back. And you can't effectively chronicle the history of this heavyweight division without talking about this man and his knockout prowess. But Seattle gone is the real deal, and that probably doesn't even begin to describe it. The official decision brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. One final time tonight, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new interim UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Cyril Bogomolgan. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I am with the new interim champion, Cyril Gaon. How does it feel, my friend? Wow, this is a little bit strange. I'm happy, but I'm feeling a little bit bad for my man. Front of his fan. I know I, I can hurt the bull, but I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm with you. Big love for, for Lewis and, uh, and for the fan. And yes, I'm happy. I'm proud of him. Cyril, your game seems to be difficult for every single heavyweight. Look up here. I mean, you're on your toes, you're bouncing. People say that you move like a 245 pound middleweight. What was the game plan coming into this fight against Derek Lewis? Well, everybody know already who is, what is my game plan, my man. 
I'm like that. I'm, I, I like to move. I'm easy with my body. <sighs> my man, no secret. It was the game plan, of course. When you got him hurt, you, laid the, you landed that beautiful leg kick. When you saw him hurt, how excited did you get? How big did your eyes get when you started going in for that finish? Comment est-ce que tu as vu quand tu es parti, quand tu as vu que le kick est passé, comment tu t'es senti excité pour toi? Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, I, I was a little bit angry, and because all the staff told me, "Let's go, let's go, you're gonna do this," and we did it. You know, your coach Fernand Lopez has been in this position before, and it didn't work out. What does it mean to you to finally give him a championship and be the first champion from France? Au début, en fait, coach Fernand Lopez était dans cette situation. Ça n'a pas marché, mais maintenant, ça a marché. Ça fait quoi d'avoir la ceinture? This is for him. This is my feeling now. This is my feeling. This is for the whole team. This is not just for me. This is for my coach, for the MMA factory, for my friends, my family. For the fans, for my country, I'm really happy. And speaking of team, your former teammate is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ngannou. What's the message that you have for the champion as we look like we're going to have a champion versus champion fight? There are no message. <laughs> the fight is going to go up, so let's go. Just let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the interim champion of the world, Cyril gone. And of course, deflecting credit as usual to his head coach, Fernand Lopez. But the intriguing nature of a fight between Ghan and Nganu is absolutely off the charts. Of course, tonight belongs to the new UFC interim heavyweight champion, Cyril Ghan. And it is safe to say the MMA movement in France appears to be in the best of hands. We've been needing heavyweights like this. And now they're here to stay. We got two of the best heavyweights on earth in kickboxing and boxing, and now we get to see some heavyweight fights. I mean, when you talk about this guy right here, man, they deserve everything that they got coming, John. Dude landed 99 strikes to eight on Derek Lewis, and he is a real problem. If I'm Francis and Donald and his team right now, Eric Nitzik, I am game planning because we've never seen anything like this before. Other than Nganu, which doesn't kick the same, doesn't isn't as light on the feet. He might have the power, but that, and, and, but he can match the speed and he can match the tactics. All right, we'll see how quickly the UFC can turn around the champions and put Francis Nganu's heavyweight title on the line. What a night for France and Zidal Gan.